Hi everybody, I'm Miro. Welcome to the next part of my series about ASP.NET Core 2. The customer and auto controller are already done. Since we are missing only the books controller from our model, this is what we are going to do in this video. So let's start. Select the controller folder and press Ctrl Shift A to create new item. Select class and I will name this book controller. And hit the add button. So this class have to inherit from controller class. Open the quick fix menu with control dot and import Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC. In this controller we are going to work with a book and outdoor repository. So we have to inject these two repositories through the constructor. Type ctor tap tap to generate a new constructor. And I will store these two repositories to a private read-only field. And as you already know, the Visual Studio can help us to generate these two fields. Open the quick fix menu with control dot and generate read-only field. And I will do this for auto repository as well. So now we can create a list method. It will be public, will return iActionResult and name will be list. This method should be able to show as first all books, second books filtered by the author ID and third books filtered by the borrower ID. Therefore this method will accept two arguments, nullable author ID and nullable borrower ID. Before we start the coding, let's think about the structure of this method. If both arguments are null, we will show all books. If the author ID is not null, we will filter the books by the author ID. And as you already suspect, we will do the same for the borrower ID. Check for null and filter all books by the borrower ID. Now we covered three of four possible scenarios. The first scenario is none of them is null, the second and third one of them is null and the fourth will be if none of them is null. So we have to cover this also. And this scenario will be not supported so I just throw a new exception. And there are still some special scenarios. What if this books collection has no elements or this author doesn't have any book? Let's cover this also. So let's start. So as first we have to load all books. And since we want to show all books with their authors, I will use this get all with author method. Now let's check the collection. Okay. Instead of loading this author from book repository, I will load him from author repository. And now I will check his books in the same way like we did for all books. Okay, if this author has no books, we will return author empty and the model for this view will be the author. And if he has any books, we will get his books to the view. Now let's load all books and filter them by the borrower ID. And now let's check the books collection once again. Let's throw the exception and the implementation will be done for now. And as you can see, some of this code is repetitive. For example, check borrow books or check all books. In order to follow the don't repeat yourself principle, we can extract this to the new method. So the new method will be public return i action result and I will name this check books. The argument will be i enumerable of books. I will copy this code and now we can use this method instead. And this will be everything for this video. In the next part, we will implement the create, update, and delete methods. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.